The Octagon has returned to beautiful London, England. We are sold out. Inside the O2 Arena, our main event of the evening has the potential to be one of the greatest fights in UFC history. Hi again, everybody. I'm Mike Goldberg. Welcome once again to the Ultimate Fighting Championship. We have another outstanding night of fights in store for you this evening, highlighted by our main event of the evening, a showdown between two of the sport's best, and the title is on the line. My partner is always Joe Rogan. Joe, we've been calling each of these men's fights for a long time, and now they finally fight each other. It was just a matter of time. I mean, both these guys are at the top of the sport, and when you ask any MMA fan about dream matchups, this is one they'll give you. They match up so well on paper, you can't give a clear advantage to either guy in any discipline. You know, this is one of those nights where we just truly have the greatest job in the world, Mike. Joe, I totally agree. Tonight is a very special night with a very special fight in our main event. We also have a great night of fights leading up to that exciting matchup. To get the night started, let's take a look at our rules of the octagon. Three judges score the bout, the bout duration three five-minute rounds. Tonight's championship fight is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. A 10-point must scoring system is in effect, with the round winner gaining 10 points, his opponent nine or less, based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and octagon control. We begin our night with a light heavyweight showdown between the Wolf and Danger. Fighting out of the blue corner is Danger, a tenacious grappling specialist. He possesses a dangerous top game and outstanding endurance. He'll be looking to take this matchup to the ground, break his opponent's will, and secure a dominant victory. Standing across from him in the red corner is the Wolf. Quick on his feet and a terror on the inside, he's known to land vicious punches, elbows, and knees from the clinch. Watch for him to take this fight straight to his opponent and work for the knockout up close and personal. Danger, set to enter the world famous octagon once again. He is a cardio machine, Mike. He always comes in in incredible condition, and that's arguably one of the most important aspects of mixed martial arts training. Once your cardio goes, so does everything else. But this is one guy who definitely won't be losing because he ran out of gas. Danger, fired up and ready to go. Making his way to the world-famous octagon. This guy fights like a bulldozer, Mike. He moves forward, and he doesn't stop. He throws punches in big numbers, and he is relentless with his takedown attempts. He sets a crazy pace, and he has the ability to win fights by simply grinding down his opponents. The Wolf, ready to throw down and put on a show. Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Boost Mobile. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the O2 Arena in London, England. And now, it's time to begin our first bout of the evening. Three rounds in the UFC Light Heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a submission fighter. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. 14.6 stone. Fighting out of Kislovatska, Russia. Danger! And now, fighting out of 
into the red corner. This man is a wrestler. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, 14.6 stone, fighting out of Sunderland, England, the Wolf. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, our referee. Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan. And we are ready to start ready, round guys? one. Are you Danger. Are you ready? The Wolf. And here we Let's go. go. Come on. Oh, nice left and a right. He caught the kick. Wow, that right hand. Oh, big left hook. Over the top. Now looking for the takedown. He wants the double. Good takedown defense. He's got a hold of his neck, Mike. He's looking for a guillotine. I don't think it's quite tight enough. Wow, great job oh, done escapes. defensively. Oh, reversal. Good sprawl. He's got his back. He's got him clinched up against the fence. Nice right hand. He's really landing those short punches inside, Mike. He's and got he's him got down. The takedown. He's got half guard. Oh, he got reversed. He pushes him off with the feet. Combination. Get that double going. Get that double going. He is teeing yeah. off right now. Is that the over under? Oh, beautiful suplex. Half guard. Don't let him pass. Oh, he gets reversed. Moves into half guard here. But transitions to the full mount. He's got the arm triangle. Great submission defense. Oh, he's out of it. Nicely done. 45 seconds remains in the first round. And back to full guard. Good sprawl. 30 seconds remains in the round. He's in full guard. Boom. Grab your leg. Got in half guard. Oh, he got reversed. Our first round is in the books. The referee separates them after a rather uneventful round of ground fighting. Yeah, they neutralize each other on the mat, Mike. No one seemed willing to take any risks. Push the pace. Push the pace on him. Find those punches. Hey, and find the knees right after. Get to the body some too, okay? Hey, you... On the ground, you can catch him all day long in that triangle and that armbar. You can catch him all day long, okay? You got it all day long. You just got to go. All right, let's go to the replay, Mike. Here we see some beautiful submission defense to get out of that. And here we see some real power on display. Fantastic suplex. And here's that submission attempt that wasn't quite able to be finished. Hey, look at the score. All you need to do is score. You score with that. The beautiful Shandella Powell. Here you go, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? Second round. Let's fight go. scheduled Come for on. three five minute rounds. Double underhooks. He's got the clinch up against the cage. Nice right hand. Relentless takedowns here. Side control. Oh! He's in the guard. Good sprawl. Oh, he's got the mount. This is not good. Come down with a good one. Into half guard. 
He's in guard here. Side control. Half guard. And back to mount again. Oh, he's got an off bar. That is a tight, tight arm bar. He's got it! It is all over! Submission victory! Great on bar! Danger wins in impressive fashion. Textbook jiu-jitsu. Yeah, you see here, once he's got this, he's got the arm isolated. He arches his back, pulls it, extends the arm for the tap. Let's see it again. As soon as he extends that arm, but just his opponent has no choice but to tap here. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 17 seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an armbar, Danger! Danger earns the victory. out of the blue corner is Doom with a speed advantage over almost any man in the division and an arsenal of knees, elbows, and dirty boxing. This octagon warrior loves to go to war in the clinch. Standing across from him in the red corner is Boom Boom. With effective takedowns and a highly aggressive style, this is one of the best conditioned athletes in the division. He'll be looking to wear his opponent down with his relentless pace. Doom making his way to the world-famous Octagon. He's a fighter known for his heart, Mike. There is absolutely no quit in this man. We've seen him take crazy amounts of damage and still keep coming. This is a guy who will not stop until the final bell. A great competitor. Doom, fired up and ready to go. Boom Boom, set to enter the world famous octagon once again. He is a cardio machine, Mike. He always comes in in incredible condition and that's arguably one of the most important aspects of mixed martial arts training. Once your cardio goes, so does everything else. But this is one guy who definitely won't be losing because he ran out of gas. Boom Boom, ready to throw down and put on a show. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by the only motorcycles worthy of being in the octagon, Harley Davidson. And now with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler. He stands six feet three inches tall. Weighing in at 205 pounds, 14.6 stone. Fighting out of Fort Wayne, Indiana, Martin Doom Jones. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands six feet, six inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, 14.6 stone. Fighting out of Cheyenne, Wyoming. Johnny Boom Boom Hall! Oh! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Josh Rosenthal. 
Josh Rosenthal, our referee. I'm Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. We are Gentlemen, set to get things ready? started. Doom. Ready? Boom, boom. Round one Let's is fight. underway. And he answers. And now he's answered. Push kick. Getting in tight using the clinch. And he caught him again. Good takedown defense. here big right hand body shot nice right hand oh nice left and a right beautiful head kick there under three minutes now right hand he's down oh that's big joe he dove right into that he's got half guard and back to full guard passes moves into half guard good transition joe let's see what he chooses to do here Passes to half guard. Able to posture up. Trying to utilize the cage to get back to his feet. He decides to let him up. He caught the leg. Nice right hand. Good striking. Nice high kick. Wow, that right hand. Oh, but he oh, ate a left hand. The left. The Big left hook. What an exchange oh, here. Big right hand. Good body punches. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Oh, oh suplex. Very oh. nice. Round one complete. I'm not sure what the game plan was in that round. It seems that they were still in the feeling out process. A good mix of stand-up and ground game, but nothing for the highlight reel. Finish every combination with a kick. You listen to me? Finish every combination with a kick. Keep the right kick going. You gotta fight your fight. You gotta take him down. You gotta impose your will because you're a bigger, stronger guy. All right? Get him down and keep him down. Let's take a look at the replay of some of the action here, Mike. Here's that vicious shot. I thought this was a knockout right here. And some incredible power on that shot here. Just connected perfectly. And here we see some amazing anticipation with a tremendous counter. You don't get the takedown, you're going back to the strikes. You're looking for... The beautiful Ariani gets us set for round number two. Gentlemen, you ready? You ready? Here we go, round two. Let's fight! Left, right. Oh, and punishing the midsection. Nice right hand. Good combinations here. Oh, we got tagged with a hook. He caught the kick. Doom is cut. Huge left and right. Those are snapping his head back, Mike. Got the over under. And another takedown. Side control. Oh, and Man, again. He loves throwing that punch. It looks like Boom Boom is cut here too, Joe. In the full guard here. Inside the guard, posturing up. And he gets reversed. Breathe and move right now. Breathe and move. Push forward. Push forward. Don't retreat. 
Again. Oh, uppercut, he's down. He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. Oh, good combination. Both guys staying in tight. And oh, he he's hurt. Answers. Oh, big kick. Oh, looping hook there. Nice right hand. Nice counter right hand. Under two minutes remains in round number two. This fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Oh, answered by a... Oh, he got hurt. He's down. Full guard. Side control. 90 seconds remains in the second. Half guard. He lets him up. And now he's answered. Left hook, he's down. Oh, he's back to his feet. He's got the clinch. Minute remains in the second round. Nice body kick. Good body shot. 45 seconds remains. Oh, nice counter right. He's down. I can't believe he got back to his feet, but he has hurt badly. He's got the clinch. That's the end of round number two. Our fighters will move to the third and final round. Great display of striking skills from both fighters in that round. Absolutely, Mike. It'll be interesting to see if they keep it on the feet in the third. So the kick won't reach it. Movement's pissing him off, okay? Keep moving, keep moving. You just gotta get a little more active with everything, okay? Keep that. Good, good, good. You're listening, can you hear me? Perfect, that's all we need. Yeah, and you're going to hit Let's take a look at the replay, Mike. This was a beautiful counter. Unbelievable timing here. And here's that devastating counter strike. That is world-class striking right there. And here was that nasty counter strike, just so perfectly timed. Some good striking in that round, Mike. Don't crowd them. Relax. Don't go for the big hook. Use the right hand. There's Shandella getting set for round three. Gentlemen, you ready? You ready? We are set for the Let's third play. and Five final minutes. round. And good, good right hand counter. Nice combination. Covers nicely. He's really landing those short punches inside, Mike. Oh, he hit him with a big left hook. Beautiful hook. Oh, the slip in the counter. What an exchange here. Wow, that right hand. Body shot. He caught the leg. And oh, he's got it. And he's down. Under three minutes now. Side control. Boom. In the half guard. Using the butterflies, pushing his opponent away. They are exchanging here, Mike. No, no, no. Get that double going. Get that double going. Big run. That one dropped him. He's hurt. He's hurt. In the guard. He's inside control here. Half guard. He's looking for a Kimura. He's got it in position. This is very tight. He's cranking on it. He might get the win here. This looks like he's going to get it. Oh, he escapes. Beautiful defense. You go now. You go. And into full mount. 45 seconds remains. Hold his head down. Put your right arm on his head. Hold it. 
Oh, beautiful hook! It is all over! That's it. Knockout victory! Wow! How good is that? Doom with the spectacular finish. Look at it again. Oh, man, what a hook. Threw his whole body into it, and it's immediately lights out. Beautiful knockout punch. A victory, yes. But remember, fighter safety is of the utmost importance. That was a lot of extra unnecessary punishment. The fight was clearly over. And with the official decision, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 31 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Martin Doom Jones. Doom the victor. out of the blue corner is Angel, a knockout artist known for his ability to dish out brutal amounts of punishment. He is one of the most feared stand-up fighters in the division. Standing across from him in the red corner is Blitz. With a deadly combination of jiu-jitsu skills and cardio, he loves to go to war on the ground, where he works relentlessly to lock in a submission. Angel, making his way to the world-famous octagon. As far as pure strength goes, this is one of the most powerful men in the division. He's very dangerous when he closes the distance, a beast in the clinch, huge takedowns, and he can generate a ton of power with his short punches and elbows. Angel, ready to throw down and put on a show. Blitz, set to enter the world-famous octagon once again. This guy can really impose his will on a fight, Mike. He's constantly pushing forward, putting pressure on you. He'll grind you up against the cage, pepper you with shots, come at you with relentless ground and pound. He just keeps bringing the attack the whole time he's in there. Blitz, fired up and ready to go. Tale of the Tape is brought to you by UFC Store. The sport lives here. And now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. 14.6 stone, fighting out of Bellum, Brazil, Arturo Angel Girard. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. 14.6 stone, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Blitz. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, our referee. I'm Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan, and ready? we're ready to get things ready? started. Angel, Blitz. And we Let's are go, underway. Both men scoring points here. But he oh, ate a left hand. Left. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. 
He shoots in. Good sprawl. He's in full guard here. Pushing his opponent away. He lets him up. Huge left and right. Those are snapping his head back, Mike. Oh, big kick. And now he's answered. Left, right. Oh, nice left and a right. Inside leg kick. Double under hooks. Oh, 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 huge suplex. He's got half guard. Oh, we got reversed. Passes the half guard. And he gets reversed. Big elbow. Half guard. Oh, he gets reversed. He caught the kick. He dives in and delivers a huge shot. Just over a minute remains. Passes to half guard. He's got double butterflies in here, Mike. Pushes him off of the feet. 45 seconds remains in the first round. Again, the takedown is stuffed. Joe, let's see what he chooses to do here. Side control. Wow, that right hand. Nice right hand. Okay, moves into the mount here. Round one is in the books. Stop, stop, stop. I'm not sure what the game plan was in that round. It seems that they were still in the feeling out process. A good mix of stand-up and ground game, but nothing for the highlight reel. Awesome. But you know, I want fours and fives with the punches now, all right? We, we can't hold back now. Cannot hold back. This is the round he's going to break. You hear me? You've got to take it to him. You can dump him, you can throw him. He's going up the cage, okay? You gotta come back, pull his hips back. All right, let's go to the replay, Mike. This was well-timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And a punishing yeah. counter right here. You can see all it takes is one opening and bang. And here was that suplex. So much amazing technique in that. Hey, five minutes of hell, tighten your punches up. The uppercut is there all day, but you got to bring something behind. The beautiful Shandella. We are ready for round two. Are you ready? Are you ready? This is round two, guys, and here we go. Quick hands. He caught the leg. Nice outside leg kick. Push kick. Big left hook. Countering and scoring big time. Again, he takes him down. He moves into half guard. Nice use of the up kick here. He caught the kick. Oh, that's big, Joe. He dove right into that. Work that wrist control. He caught the leg. Oh, beautiful flying punch. He's in mission control. Pushing his opponent away. He decides to let him up. The clinch game once again. Trip. Nicely Very nice. done. How quick was that? Keep angling, keep angling. Nice combination here. Oh, big kick inside. He can't take many more of these, Joe.
Just over a minute remains. Oh! Belly to belly again. Half guard. Under a minute. Oh, reversal. Pushes him off of the feet. There's a bit of a cut here on Blitz. Good takedown defense. And again! He loves throwing that punch. And he lets him back up. Oh my goodness! Oh, that one's. Oh, big kick to the head! It is all over! Stop, stop, stop. Knocked out with the head kick! What a finish! Angel with the victory. Yeah, look at this timing. Perfect accuracy, perfect position. That Let's is look at it powerful again. Powerful dude, Joe. Watch. And lights out. Boom. And that's all she wrote. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 32 seconds of the second round, declaring the winner by knockout, Arturo Angel Girard. Angel is victorious. Out of the blue corner is Boom Boom, an intelligent and tactical fighter. He takes command of the octagon with fast footwork and a dominant clinch game. Standing across from him in the red corner is Hollywood. Running through his opponents like a freight train with his powerful and effective takedowns, he'll be looking to utilize his wrestling skills to impose his will. Boom Boom, making his way to the world famous octagon. This guy fights like a bulldozer, Mike. He moves forward and he doesn't stop. He throws punches in big numbers and he is relentless with his takedown attempts. He sets a crazy pace and he has the ability to win fights by simply grinding down his opponents. Boom, boom. Fired up and ready to go. Hollywood, set to enter the world-famous octagon once again. This guy can really impose his will on a fight, Mike. He's constantly pushing forward, putting pressure on you. He'll grind you up against the cage, pepper you with shots, come at you with relentless ground and pound. He just keeps bringing the attack the whole time he's in there. Hollywood, ready to throw down and put on a show. Take is brought to you by Edge Shape Gel. Get your edge. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter. He stands six feet five inches tall. Weighing in at 205 pounds, 14.6 stone, fighting at a Subatica, Serbia. Steven Boom Boom Green! And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler and Muay Thai fighter. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, 14.6 stone. Fighting out of New York, New York, Hollywood! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Kevin Mohall. Kevin Mohall, our referee. Mike Goldberg alongside my partner Joe Rogan. Round one is about to begin. 
Boom, boom. Hollywood. And here we go. Let's fight. He won't come for it. Stand in the middle. Left hook, he's down. He dives into the guard and punishes his opponent. He ain't that one. Pushes him off of the feet. Oh, he lets him up. Oh, beautiful hook. Nice sprawl. Good takedown defense. He's in the guard. Side control. Nicely done. And again. He loves throwing that punch. And really raining down some haymakers. Into half guard. Transitions to the full mount. Good job, hip escaping there. Moves to half guard. Man, he's really teeing off here inside. Push kick. A oh, good counter. Again, the takedown is stuffed. Oh, big overhand right. Good takedown defense. Oh, big left hook. And oh, he's got it. And he's down. Nice right hand. Great reversal. Little rubber guard. Side control. Wow, that right hand. Oh, body shot. Boom. Great job on the reverse. Oh, he's mounted him. Oh, reversal. Working hard to try to get out of this bad spot. Back to their feet. Got to take down again. Looking to posture up. 45 seconds. Side control. Looks like Boom Boom is cut here, Mike. Perfect. Oh, he gets reversed. He's working the rubber guard. Oh, he got reversed. Oh, he got reversed. And that's the end of round one. The referee separates them after a rather uneventful round of ground fighting. Yeah, they neutralize each other on the mat, Mike. No one seemed willing to take any risks. You gotta fight it off. You swim that arm over, okay? Now, on the ground, you can catch him all day long in that triangle and that armbar. You can catch him all day long, okay? If he gets that back, you fight that two-on-one. If he gets that body lock, you gotta fight it off. You swim that arm over, okay? You swim that arm over. Let's go to the replay of that round, Mike. This was a beautiful counter. Unbelievable timing here. And here's that devastating counter strike. That is world-class striking right there. And here's that lightning-fast takedown. Amazing wrestling technique. Good? Okay, he's tired. His legs are tired from trying to hold that figure four. The beautiful Shandella with us tonight. Okay, fighters, are you ready? Are you ready? We are set for the start That's of round right. number two. This fight's scheduled for three five-minute rounds. That the over-under. And the battle for a dominant position continues. He trips, boom, got him to the ground. Nicely done. Looking for rubber guard, he's got mission control. Side control, big right hand, half guard. Oh, reversal. Joey's got the mount. He can finish the fight from here. Oh, he gets reversed. Explode. He's got side control. Oh. Oh. Man, those are knockout punches, Joe. Vicious punches from the top, Mike. Way to work. Pressure, pressure, elbow. He's in the full mount, Joe. Make space and go. Oh, he got. Oh, he's got a triangle.
Trying to remain patient. He got out. And he escapes. Moves to half guard. And back to full guard. He ate that one. 90 seconds remains in the second. He's in full guard. Moves into half guard. Boom Boom got hit on the same spot. That cut is really opened up now, Mike. Looking to wall walk. One minute. Try to get a takedown if you can. Get him back and up and make him pay. Look at the battle for control here. Nice left hook. Keep going. Control the quiz. Put that on the hook. Bam! Takes him right down. That's the end of round number two. Our fighters will move to the third and final round. We saw some decent groundwork in that second round, Joe. Yeah, these guys are very active on the ground. One mistake in this final round, and either fighter could finish it early. Be there. Finish this fight. Get it over with. He is not as good as you. All right? Yeah. On the ground, you can catch him all day long in that triangle and that armbar. You can catch him all day long, now, okay? You got it all day long. You just got Let's go. check out some of the action from that round, Mike. Very nice throw here. Beautiful technique. And this is that picture-perfect escape from that submission attempt. And here we see some really decent takedown defense, making it tough to finish that. Solid wrestling skills on display in that round, Mike. Okay, he's tired. His legs are tired from trying to hold that. Ready to start round three. There's the beautiful Brittany. Okay, fighters, are you ready? Are you ready? Round three Let's is fight. underway. <laughs> he takes him down again. Pushing his opponent away. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Beautiful hook. Uh-oh, these are big strikes. Nice high kick. And now he's answered. Outstanding takedowns. Moves in a half guard here. Joe, let's see what he chooses to do here. Goes right into side control. Half guard. Oh, he got reversed. Pushes him off with the feet. There you go, nice. And another takedown. Side control. And again, big one. He's got half guard. Oh, reversal. Boom. He caught the leg. And he answers. Swing and a miss. Just out of harm's way, and then boom, the counter. Nice double leg. He's got double butterflies here, Mike. Pushing his opponent away. He decides to let him up. Mixing things up nicely. Let him see the uppercut. Nice knee. He's got that single. Good sprawl. Fast hands. Good battle inside. He shoots in. Relentless takedowns here. Pushes him off of the feet. Nice right hand. Oh, looping hook there. Oh, we got tagged with the hook. Over the top. Nice punches. He is getting battered. Oh, and punishing the midsection. Watch him trying to bait you. Nice job, double leg. Joe, let's see what he tries to do from here. Rubber guard into half guard. Oh, he gets reversed. Pushing his opponent away. Three rounds complete. This fight is over. We will head to the judges' scorecards. Joe, that was a pretty darn good fight. That was an awesome fight.
Let's take a look at the replay from that round, Mike. This was well-timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And here we see the striking game being neutralized with a big takedown. And here you can see the very well-timed counter. Slipping out, back in, and connecting. The judges have rendered their scorecards. Bruce Buffer has the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score it 29, 28, 29, 28, and 29, 28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Hollywood! Hollywood is victorious. of the blue corner is the saint with an unbreakable will and outstanding cardio he uses his wrestling skills to put his opponents on their back and outwork them from bell to bell standing across from him in the red corner is damage when it comes to fighting in the clinch few mixed martial artists can bring the pain like this man from bell to bell he wears his opponents down with a never-ending barrage of strikes and he'll be looking to bully his way to a victory here tonight. The Saint, set to enter the world-famous octagon once again. This guy has great conditioning, Mike. His teammates all talk about the work he puts in in the gym. He is just a cardio machine. He never seems to get tired. And one thing we can count on is that the deeper this fight goes, the more the odds are going to swing in his favor. The Saint. Fired up and ready to go. Damage making his way to the world famous Octagon. He's a fighter known for his heart, Mike. There is absolutely no quit in this man. We've seen him take crazy amounts of damage and still keep coming. This is a guy who will not stop until the final bell. A great competitor. Damage. Ready to throw down and put on a show. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Boost Mobile. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. Three rounds of fighting in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai fighter. He stands six feet, three inches tall. Weighing in at 205 pounds, 14.6 stone. Fighting out of Santiago, Chile. Ricardo, the Saint, Robertson. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a karate fighter. He stands six feet tall. Weighing in at 205 pounds. 14.6 stone, fighting out of Manila, the Philippines. Kenji Damage Sasaki! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, our referee. Hi again, everybody. Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. Are and we are, are ready, ready for round one. The Saints. Damage. And here we Let's go. go. Guys, fight. Huge left and right. Those are snapping his head back, Mike. Push nice kick. kick. Keep moving to the outside. Oh, beautiful hook. They clinch again. Nice body shot. Swing and a miss. He's 
He's got a clinch. there oh they're just throwing oh they're exchanging here nice left hook just missed with that one he's got the clinch inside with the clinch again he gets the clinch here And he's down. Oh, passes to the half guard. And side control. Dominant position here, Joe. That's it. Pushing his opponent away. He decides to let him up. Uh-oh, these are big strikes. Under 90 seconds remains in the first of three five-minute rounds. Wow, left hook, he's down! He dives into the guard and punishes his opponent. Forty-five seconds remains in the first round. He pulls the legs out. He's got him down. Nicely done. And he gets reversed. Reversal. Very nice. Butterfly guard goes right into side control. Uh, Our first stop, round is in uh, the books. Guys. How do you score that one, Joe? It's really hard to say. Neither fighter was really able to do anything significant this round. Get that leg foot going. Get that leg foot going. He has no defense for it. Breathe. You got to punish him this round. Breathe. All right. Go to the body and press him back. Breathe. Try to spin him around. Don't, don't let your back sit. Just sit on the, end of the cage, okay? Need some more? Bent knees, okay? Getting a little bit high. Bend it, tie me up. Let's back. take a look at the replay from that round, Mike. This was that counter. Such unbelievable timing on that. And here's that devastating counter strike. That is world-class striking right there. Liver kicks working. Everything you're doing is working. It's loading up. There's the beautiful Ariani as we get set for round two. Are you ready? Are you ready? Set for round two. Let's go, this guys. fight's scheduled for three five-minute rounds. He's got the clinch. Oh, looping hook. He drops him with the uppercut. He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. and scoring big time. Nice body kick. He caught the leg. Big right hand. Both guys staying in tight. Fast hands. Good battle inside. Oh, answered by a big body shot. Sometimes it's better to throw shorter, quicker punches, and that's what we're seeing here tonight. When you put all that effort and energy into a punch and you really wind up, it Joe the big kick and he drops him. Yeah, he swept him with that leg kick. Passes to half guard. Pick that leg up. Pass to half guard. And back to full guard. Side control. Oh, he gets reversed. Two minutes left in the second. Watch where you grab your leg. Put your right arm on his head. Oh, big elbow. Nice right hand. Oh, he's got an arm triangle. Great 
submission defense. He got out. And he escapes. Oh, smooth, Joe. Very nice transition to side control. Half guard. 45 seconds remains. Half guard. 30 seconds remains in the round. That cut on damage has really opened up. Got the butterflies in. Pushes him off with the feet. Oh, he lets him up. Oh, big left hook. They have fought for 10 Time. minutes. Stop. Round Time, two guys. is over. I like how they took that fight everywhere in that round, Mike. Absolutely. Some well-rounded skills shown by each fighter. We have no idea what to expect here in the last round, but I'm looking forward to it. Gotta keep those hands up inside. The leg kicks are there. All right, the leg kicks are there. He sets up to get hands in his face fast. Fast. All right, hard hands in his face. Do not let him shut up. You miss it. Let's take a look at the replay of some of the action here, Mike. This was a beautiful counter. Unbelievable timing here. And here's that devastating counter strike. That is world-class striking right there. And here we see some amazing anticipation with a tremendous counter. A lot of versatility being shown in that you round, Mike. Your fight, you've got to take him down. You've got to impose your will because you're big. The beautiful Brittany gets us set for round three. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Round three. Let's go, guys. Fight. we got five minutes. We're done. Oh, spinning back kick. Oh, they're going to close it up again. Right to the clinch. Big kick. Body shot when you're in that tight. Stay busy. Push and then move. Take your time. Nice and relaxed. Sell him on something. And the chance begin for the Saint. Oh! It looks like the Saint is cut here too, Joe. The clinch game once again. Nice right hand. They clinch again. Under three minutes now. What an exchange here. And he's hurt. Oh, big right hand. He's down. I can't believe he got back to his feet, but he has hurt badly. Nice body shot and then hook combination. Got the over-under. Oh! They are both staying in tight, close, right in the fire. Wow, that right hand. And now he's answered. Good counter, though, Joe. Oh, spinning, spinning heel back kick. kick. Oh. Joe, that big kick absolutely dropped him. Yeah, he kicked his legs out from under him there. Very effective technique. He's in the salivary position. The Saint got hit him. Oh, big shot. He's hurt. He got blasted, but it looks like he snapped back pretty quickly. And the crowd continues to rally behind the Saint. Oh, he got reversed. Posture's up. Oh, he got reversed. Great job on the reversal. Side control now. He's in full mount here. He ate that one. Stop, stop, stop. That is the end of the third and final round. Joe, neither man embarrassed himself, but neither man really put on a show in that fight. It wasn't the best fight we've ever seen, but it was a good one. All right, let's go to the replay, Mike. This was that counter. Such unbelievable timing on that. And here's that devastating counter strike. That is world-class striking right there.
The judges have rendered their decision. And here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 29-29. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous draw. No one walks out with the victory tonight. This fight ends in a unanimous draw. Fighting out of the blue corner is the Beast. With effective takedowns and a highly aggressive style, this is one of the best conditioned athletes in the division. He'll be looking to wear his opponent down with his relentless pace. Standing across from him in the red corner is Ironhead. A heavy-handed striker who prefers to deliver punishment on the ground, he'll be looking to take this fight to the mat and hammer his way to victory. The Beast, set to enter the octagon and attempt to capture the belt. This guy has some powerful, effective takedowns, Mike. Explosive speed, changes level so well. And his opponents have to respect that. Against a takedown artist like this, you can't just carelessly throw strikes. One lazy kick and you'll find yourself on your back. The Beast, fired up and looking to put that belt around his waist. Head, set to enter the octagon and defend his UFC title. This guy has vicious ground and pound, Mike. He can dish out a ton of damage from the top position. Punches, elbows. He's really good at getting a guy down, keeping him there, and putting him away with strikes. Ironhead, fired up and ready to show why he is the champion. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Boost Mobile. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And now, live from the O2 Arena in London, England, it's Time! Five rounds for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World! Introducing first, the challenger, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, 14.6 stone, fighting out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. The Beast, Jackson. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds, 14.6 stone, fighting out of Boise, Idaho. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the reigning, defending UFC Light Heavyweight Champion of the World, Juan Ironhead Coleman. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. All right, gentlemen, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Mike Goldberg alongside my partner, Joe Rogan, and we are ready to get this fight started. Are you ready to fight? The Beast. Are you ready? Ironhead. And here we Come on, go. Let's do it. 
And now he's answered. Excellent combination. Good takedown defense. Going for over under here. He's in the guard now. Back to over under. And back to full guard. Goes right into side control. Half guard. Into the guard. Side control again. Full guard here. He moves into half guard. Posture's up. Again, the takedown is stuffed. Inside the guard. Half guard, able to posture up. Into his, he's looking for a Kimura. Oh man, really cranking on that shoulder. This looks bad. Passes to half guard. Transitions to the full mount. Good job hip escaping there. Moves to half guard. There he goes. Back Joe to mount, mount again. Oh, Beautiful. good hip escape from the bottom. Moved in back to mount. full mount. Under 90 seconds remains in round one. Boom! He ate that one. Top position. He's doing a great job of holding that mount. There's a bit of a cut here on the beast, Mike. Under a minute remains. Big right hand. He's got both hooks in, Mike. Gonna try to flatten him out. Finish this fight. Oh! Thirty seconds remains in the round. It looks like Ironhead is bleeding here too, Joe. And he lets him back up. Good counter, though, Joe. Working with the over, the over under here. Nice sprawl. Good takedown defense. Round one is complete. Joe, we saw that round mostly centered around the ground game. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting matchup on the ground, Mike. Both these guys are highly skilled, and both are looking to finish. All day long, okay? Gets that back, you fight that two-on-one. If he gets that body lock, you gotta fight it off. You good? Okay, he's tired. His legs are tired from trying to hold that figure four. Okay, push the pace. Push the pace right now. Let's take a look at the replay of some of the action here, Mike. Nice, stiff counter right here. Now a look at that near submission that was let go. Didn't quite have it locked in. And here's some solid ground and pound here. Big shot landing there. Solid wrestling skills on display in that round, Mike. He's got nothing for you. The beautiful Shandella Powell. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? We start round two. On, this fight scheduled for five, five-minute rounds. And good right hand counter. Getting in tight, using the clinch. Single leg. Good sprawl. Stumped. Nice right hand. Oh. Let's see what he does from here, Joe. Got in half guard. Moves into full mount here. Now able to posture up. Wow, that right hand. Nice right hand. Oh, he rocked him, Joe. Just vicious, teeing off. Vicious haymakers from the top. Oh, oh big shot from the top. top. And that's it. It is all over. He got the mount and made no mistake. What a performance. He defends the UFC light heavyweight title. Let's see that again, Mike. As soon as the opening's there, boom, he drops the hammer and turns the lights out. Let's see it another angle, right on the button from the top position.
great angle here. He got hurt bad. Look at him. He still has not recovered. He's still down. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer, has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 41 seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, Juan Ironhead Coleman. Ironhead remains UFC champion. question that this right here is our knockout of the night yeah no question who won this fight i mean this is some serious power on display here as we take a look back at the replay you have to wonder how he's going to bounce back after suffering a knockout like this it's going to be interesting to see how he recovers and where he goes from here joe let's take a look at our submission of the night and man it was a good one yeah, this is just beautiful jujitsu here. As we take a look back at the replay, I mean, it looks like your typical arm bar, but the fact that he made it look so easy, that's the impressive thing. After this performance tonight, I really can't wait to see him in action again.